students in this tutorial we will quickly see the lagrange interpolation and then we will write a matlab code implementing it so what is this lagrange interpolation and why do we need it suppose that you have a data lagrangian data you have been given a year like you have a data uh, that in 1950 you have some population say this now in 1960 you again have some data and suppose that the population is this in 1970 you have some data in 1980 you have some data in 1990 you have some data in 2000 you have some data now what you want to do you want to find out what will be the value of the population at 2020 so this is unknown and other data as you have so you can do this by finding the lagrange interpolation polynomial so what is this suppose that you have some function y is equal to fx which is the exact polynomial fitting the data so uh, it is not possible to find out the exact polynomial so we do we find out the approximate polynomial with the help of the lagrange interpolation formula so uh, what does this uh, polynomial do it has all the values equal to f of f like f of xn is equal to p of xn at all the given points like at the given points these both polynomial will be the value of both the polynomial will be same as you can see from this figure this x not and this is your y not so f and p both are having the same value similarly at this point at this point and at this point so uh, for the given data we can see that f and p have the same value so we want to find out a approximating polynomial so what we can do we can have some idea about the unknown data which we are interested in so this is the work of lagrange interpolating polynomial to find out the polynomial fitting all the data so that we can have an idea about the unknown data also so here is a theorem which says that suppose that you have these n plus 1 distinct point that is x not x1 till xn these are n plus 1 distinct numbers and f is a function whose values are given at these numbers then the unique polynomial that i have already shown that you can find out this px which uh, satisfies this condition for the given data point so this polynomial is basically find out by this formula now this is given already because you have data so this is nothing but y not and this is uh, y n so all these points are given and you need to find out this lagrange polynomial which can be find out by this expression so uh, let us do some example to be more clear about how to find out the uh, lagrange polynomial with the help of this formula so here is an example uh, is that the certain corresponding values of x and y are given that this is your x not this is your y not this is your x1 this is your y1 this is your x2 this is y2 and this is x3 and this is y3 so and this i will say as p 301 where you want to find out the approximate value so these data points are given now you want to find out what will be the value of my y if i put x is equal to 301 see here the data of 301 is not given so what is your target is to find out an approximating polynomial with the help of these four data points and then put 301 in the place of x to find the value of y so how we can do this by incorporating the lagrange polynomial formula so here uh, as you have already seen that you want the value at 301 so you can put the value over here and then uh, you can write a 
Lagrange polynomial as this p minus x1 x1 is this point p minus x2 x2 is this point p minus x3 x3 is this point divided by this into y0 plus this into y1 plus this is your L this is your L these all are your L which I have shown you already this and you are multiplying with fx0 plus fx1 and so on. So uh, this is how you can find out the value at the unknown point with the help of the Lagrange polynomial. So now if I ask you what is the value of y at x is equal to 310? What you can do is that you can generally find out the polynomial by replacing this p with x. Here replace p with x, here replace p with x, here replace p with x and so on. Replacing all p with x you will find a 3 degree of polynomial. And what you need to do is that in the place of x put this value 310 and you will get the value uh, of y at 310 so so now let us go to the algorithm of the lagrange interpolation and then we will see the matlab code so this is an uh, algorithm here you can see that what we need we need values of uh, initial values of x i's and y i's and a interpolation point where we want to find out the values of f which is not given in the data and by the these what we are doing we are first finding out this l and then we are finally summing up to find out the uh, value of y at the unknown point p using this lagrange polynomial formula so this is my matlab code here what i have done i have uh, given a variable n to store the input of the number of points suppose that uh, I have uh, you have already seen that there were four points here is the example and you can see that you have four data points so uh, I'll give the uh, input as n is equal to 4 now here uh, we have to put out uh, put the value of x and y in the p what i am storing i am storing at the point where i want to find out the approximate value which is not given in the data point now this is a for loop which is calculating the value of l the uh, this value the, it is calculating this value and finally it is doing it is uh, uh, calculating the total value that is it is adding up and multiplying it with y i's so that you can find out the value of y at the unknown point according to the Lagrange interpolation formula. So when I run this program I put the input as this and then my answer came out to be this which is uh, saved so now we will copy and paste this code to the MATLAB and see the results. So I have copy pasted the MATLAB code and then I will press a run button. So see th in the command window it is asking the number of points. So we are interested in running the same program uh, which we did as an example. So my number of point is 4. Now it is asking the x value. So my x value is first x is 300 then for this we have 2.4771 now uh, another x value this is 304 and for this the uh, y is 2.4829 then x is this this is 305 and for this the y i is 2.4843 again the x value you will put 307 and corresponding to this the y value is 2.4871 now it is asking at which point you want to approximate the value so we want to find out the value at 301 so this is the result that the approximate value of the y at the value x is equal to 301 is 2.4786 so this is how we can implement 
our lagrange interpolation formula in the matlab thank you